see. Throw this in hard. Oh, clean! We got fireworks going off in the background. Big thing. He's trying to run the wall. That's too much. Oh, we just tapped it. Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that, we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling. flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do, penthouse man What's going on everybody, Sports Live Channel, welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Motorsport 7 demo has launched, man Very excited to get my hands on this game considering I have yet to play this, man I've watched a lot of gameplays and uh, I've been waiting to actually try the wheel on this game. So today, without further ado, we are here on the demo, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to keep seeing more Forza 7 on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. We're greeted by this demo menu here. Very simplistic start. And uh, we're going to go right to the options. And I've done a few changes before the start of today's episode, man. Now, one of which, uh, we left it on 540, but I brought the force feedback down. I brought everything down. I've been told that the force feedback in this game is very, very hefty. Uh, so I just kind of did the adjustments and we'll go from there. Also too, what I have done is uh, change the wheel layout to number two so that I can look left and right. Pretty much the same setup that I do run on ESDA comp drifting. And speaking of esports and you know comp drifting and such, we have the TUS guys, Mad Mitch, and Chunky, they're actually doing the last competition on Forza Motorsport 6. Qualifying starts the 23rd, and uh, the battles start on the 24th. So if you have yet to compete in that, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Links will be all found down below, including uh, how to watch them on Twitch for the battle weekend. And I will be definitely watching that. Let me know if you guys will be as well. But we're greeted by the same three cars from the E3 demo. Not surprised. I knew this was going to happen for this. We were going to get the same things as everybody else got prior. Uh, but 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS with the 2015 Mercedes Benz truck. Uh, that should be pretty damn interesting to try on the wheel. And we have the GTR going against the Nuremberg Ring GP. So, of course, we got to go 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. We're gonna hop right into this now my first thoughts of the game it looks great uh you can definitely tell that you know it's more crisp it's clear and i'm just hoping that the oh damn okay so we have some new racing gear now i did not think we we're gonna get this for the demo uh we have motorcycle cop we have greaser team four is alive the list goes on man. oh my god okay so now i'm gonna be honest with you i love the idea of these but i really do hope that they include these in the online lobbies where you can actually see your character with the car before the race. I think that would be really interesting to do. And I mean, it's been a very long time since we have seen uh, the Forza servers do anything crazy, right? So I do hope that these avatars are in there for a reason, not just for really show at the start right here. Limit aggression, we're gonna turn that off and uh, we're pretty much good to go, man. Full circuit on Dubai. Uh, now, to be honest with you, full circuit, 4.51 miles. I was hoping that we were going to have different layouts that were longer, like a downhill. I don't know, right? I mean, I just would like something long on Forza 7, man. I feel like this is the only game that has not included a very long track like Project Cars has done, you know, like a lot of games have done. So I'm hoping uh, that this year Forza surprises us all with, uh, you know, something big. Man. I want a little Toge sesh, but we're here today, Dubai, GT2 RS. Holy shit. Okay, let's see how this goes. Right the back of the oh my god, there's a lot of cars, man. 24. Here we go. Now, first thoughts, um, very, very hefty. I'm glad I did bring down the force feedback because it is very strong. Definitely can bring it down a little bit more. Now, I'm not liking the camera sway too much. Ooh. Then I'm gonna turn that off. It just looks weird, but I'm trying to race, man. I'm trying to drive here. But I don't like the fact that we're so far away. So I'm going to see if I can change that and get wrecked. Okay, there is really not a lot you can change. Oh my god, really? We can't change anything, man. We can't even restart the race. We can just quit. Resume and that is it. Okay. I'm going to let this play for a little bit. Taking the sound of the quarter sports set, man. It sounds nice. Steer. It is so strong on force feedback. Like, holy shit. Try to get it sideways. 
Oh my god, that's tight as hell. That was ridiculously tight. I do wish, though, uh, I could bring down Force Feedback right now. That would be great. Fourth gear, Mongees. Oh my goodness. That was my handbrake working. I did have an issue with my handbrake. My damn wires came loose. This guy's hit me. As I'm trying to get silent. I appreciate it. Aggression is on. So they're probably not happy for one that I'm out here. Sliding the damn course, man. Getting a few wall taps as we do so. Um, you know, it feels really similar to Fuzzle 6. Well, that's one way to uh, weight reduction right there, right? Okay, let's see what we can do backwards. Have they stopped us from going backwards? I don't know. That's nice. At least we can go kind of wherever we want here. I thought for sure it maybe would have been a set. No, no, sorry. Back to the track. But, ooh. Oh, whip up. This is a nice corner. I can definitely see a lot of tandems going down on this spot. The whole track is nice, though. I do love the scenery. You just look around. And there's a lot out there. Oh, yep. Okay. Just a tap. I know we're gonna do a little uh, backwards 180. Oh shit. Ooh, she sounds so good, man. We're gonna do the same thing again. Are you kidding me? At least we're not hitting the wall. Alright, downhill spot. Smoke just went away and evaporated right there. See? That's the issue right now with the wheel, is that you cannot move it fast enough in order to do what you're trying to do. And that's always been the problem with the motorsport titles, is that the wheel is just, it's so stiff. Now sometimes what I will do if the wheel just is not feeling right, uh, you hold the Xbox button on the wheel and it will sometimes reset it. Uh, it doesn't really seem like it's doing it now, but it does feel maybe a little bit looser than before. So here. Damn, we're getting it right now a little bit. The one thing that I'm noticing right now is the slide off the track is so much more than what we were used to from back. Oh! Just imagine if that was what I was trying to do. Roll in, 360 back, or 180, so I came in. Okay, car's coming head on. I got you. Don't hit me now. No. Oh! We died. All right, we're going to get one more downhill session. These guys are all jam-packed. They're probably pissed on the horns. So sorry, man. Swap this downhill run. That's it. Okay. Like I said, it is a tough car, man. I do believe it probably has maybe race tires. It doesn't feel like it, but the grip is immense, and that's kind of what I'm saying. They have sport, though. They have sport. Shit! Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Thank you. That's what I was trying to do, man. We're looking good out here. I'm just kidding. That looks like shit. It's okay, though. We're going to do one more. This is actually pretty satisfying on the wheel. It has a little bit of a different feel than what I was maybe thinking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Best racing game, man. 2017. The game's not even out yet. How's that even possible? I'm not even too sure. Largest and most comprehensive Forza Motorsport ever made, man. Okay, win the Drivers' Cup, massive variety of cars, and changing weather in the epic new campaign. Gear up and show off. Collect hundreds of different racing suits and express your unique style. Like I said, that's awesome to hear. I oh my god, over 700 cars, largest collection of Forza Forza Friday and Lamborghini. Okay, did you see that garage right there? Are they going to update the garages so we can actually see all of our cars at once? Because if so, uh, Forza has made me very happy, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying right now. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to get some new stuff this year? New garages? New online lobby layouts? I mean, I'd be pretty happy, man. That's all I'm saying right now. One of the biggest things I wanted to change was the Force feedback. And unfortunately, I can't even go back from here. The only thing I can do is forward... I'm a little bit disappointed on the simplicity of these menus this year around for the demo. You know, I get that it's a demo. I understand that. Maybe we pass by it. But these loading screens are a little lengthy, man. That's all. You know, I get this is the next gen Forza 7, but shit. All right, so what we're going to do for this race is run it again on 540. We're going to try this one more time and then switch over to 900 and see how that plays with 900. Now, Cosmetic is still on. Uh, we're good to go on that. And we are ready to 
run here, man. This has actually been a lot of fun. I'm glad that we got this. If I had to give my overall feel of, you know, how it feels in terms of the wheel compared to Forza 6, Forza Horizon 3, um, you know, it's a weird mix between the two almost. And that's actually what Anthony was saying as well. Uh, it just, it feels a little bit, oh shit, man, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to see if it was going to snap on me. I just took out the whole pack. I'm sorry, man. But it does feel like it is a little bit of a mixture. I mean, I don't know. We may run with these guys for one lap, and then maybe we'll split off and do our thing for the next lap. Kind of getting in the groove with this, but like I said, right there, the wheel would usually snap on Forza 6. And you wouldn't feel it as much. Uh, I think they've done a great job just trying to, you know, improve the wheel a little bit. Not kind of, you know, it's a, not a huge overhaul, mind you, but uh, it definitely does feel good. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, we just slipped in there. Whew. We didn't hit the damn Corvette, though. That was sketchy. This game definitely put my wheel to the test, so man, I can hear the plastic creaking and shit. Oh my god. Yep, sorry. Gotta do what I gotta do. I'd love to know if you guys are on a wheel. What is your force feedback settings? What rotation are you on? And how do you like it? I forgot about that corner again. That is a dangerous corner. Yeah, just go by, everybody. Take care now. You have a great afternoon, so it's a dangerous corner, though. Hands down, 10 out of 10. Not happy about that corner. I whip this mega wide. And we're gonna just go right back down the downhill. I know what you're saying right now. Slide, you did not mean to do that shit. Uh, yeah. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Probably I didn't. There we go. Traction. Feels pretty good. Coming down nice and easy. She feels so nice though, man. This game is actually going to be a lot of fun to slide with, I can tell. It's a matter of, you know, being able to fine tune everything and get it all dialed in. Obviously, this is a very tough car to slide, man. Mid engine, or rear engine, rear wheel drive. Uh, yeah. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Just kind of freestyling it. Seeing what we can get up to here. We should be just doing the track, and I think that's what we are going to do right here. So let's just flip a Yui. Ooh. Tires are smoking, man. Look at them down there. Right, let's try maybe this view right here. This view actually looks pretty fire. Oh my god, yep. The fact that you can't see the wheel, uh, right? It's a little bit... It's interesting if you actually do have the wheel. Maybe they put that in for everybody that had the wheel, man. Big thing, you know? Oh my god. Ooh, killing it. Remember though, throttle, man. You need throttle. You're about to lose it. Throttle it out. Oh shit. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited to try 900 with this. I think it's going to be a shit show though. I'll have to wait and see. Throw this in hard. Fireworks going off in the background. Big thing. Just trying to run the wall. That's too much. Oh, we just tapped it. Just tapped it. Forza Motorsport 7, man. Demo playthrough. First time here. This has been a lot of fun, man. I'm actually really excited for this to drop. I'm not exactly too sure on the dates. Oh, over rotated. Look at the mountains though, man. The sand dunes out there. Everything looks crystal clear and I'm very excited uh, to get my 4K TV for this because obviously I am going to be upgrading the entire setup so I can run this in the 4K and just, you know, in all its glory. So I'm very excited for that. But god damn, she looks good though, man. Definitely does. Like I said, I want to play this on the PC. So I think that's something that I'm going to probably unlock. I had no idea where I was going, man. I have absolutely zero clue. But the PC, though, I'm going to be downloading this, trying it with the TSPC Racer. I'm not too sure if that's going to be compatible with it. Um, so of course, on Ryzen 3 wasn't. But you never know. It may work, and if it does, I'll be pretty excited. That's uh, that's my big boy rig, man. That's like a $1,600 damn rig right there. Okay. Wheel kind of got a little bit soft right there as we were high speed 
sideways uh, like it does in Forza 6 a little bit. That's kind of my only problem with this right there. We were spitting flames, man. Oh, shit. Okay. That truck, though. Look at the truck. What's good? I spotted that truck a while back when we were doing a review for this. So it is cool to kind of see everything as I was seeing it back a few months ago without actually playing the game. But this has definitely been worth the wait. Um, I just wish that maybe they would have threw something in for the guys that did not play this at E2. I mean, they always kind of never really throw anything new, right? I mean, for everybody that is waiting... Oh, shit! Yep. Alright, so we're going to stop that at 46 seconds. We're going to tack on about maybe another 5 or 6. That's about a 50 to 55 second loading screen here on the game and before you go in. Mind you, you're instantly in right after that, but what do you think? Is that is that a long loading screen to you? I mean, to me it kind of is. I mean, I don't know. Or are we just getting damn greedy nowadays, right? I mean, possibility. We're on 900 degrees this time around. Lightened up everything. Wheel feels uh, very light. A lot better than what it did, I feel, which is nice. Oh, yes, man. Now we're actually in control of this thing here. Now, mind you, if I had the ability to right this second, I would definitely up the force feedback a little bit, though. I feel like it's just a little bit too loose. Whip this bitch. Why not, right? Ooh, I didn't want to hit it, man. I didn't want to. I felt terrible. Hey, I just have feelings, too, right? Ooh, we're right on this, man. I'm coming in here. I'm going to try to dive on this inner oh, oh, shit. Dive on the fender. Downhill sesh. Ooh. We're getting it. We're getting it. Get a little pass on the inside, maybe. Oh, it was a little bit greasy. Yep. Just Jesus. Alright, we're gonna bring it up to maybe at least 52. I think I think that'll be perfect. Keeping it on 900. Back to racing. Let's go. Well, that feels good. Feels nice. 900 though. Man. I haven't raced on 900 quite a bit on Forza. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm just hoping that, you know, it feels good, man. I mean, oh shit, sorry. Are we too close? He though is balanced. We got it. We definitely start moving. Woo! Jesus, this thing all fast, man. Oh! Come back! Thank you! Shit, we're coming through the fireworks right now, man. We're gonna go back. Uh, it didn't take us long to spin out and fall behind, so we are here now. And we're gonna see what we can do on the downhill. 900, though, super treacherous. Key, though, is not to get a lot of angle with it, man. Just come in nice and easy. Oh, shit, yep. Was almost, I mean, it wasn't, but whatever, though. I'll take it. Oh, hold her, hold her. A lot more effort, though, I'll tell you that, man. Oh, that would have sucked. And then we tapped the ass, too. Okay. Super sorry. This is a really nice section though. I can definitely see a lot of people drifting this online though, guaranteed. And I hope this is in the public drift hopper. I hope that every track is in the drift hopper. Not every track was in the hopper. And I feel like every track should be in there. Every layout, every track. Just drift anything that's in the game. Don't have a specific drift track for the hoppers. And I mean, I don't know if that's just me, but I think it would definitely make things a little bit more fresh in those online hoppers. But, um, you never know. Oh my god, yeah. Here we go. One more uphill run. See how we do. Gotta finish strong on this. Right, we are gonna be taking a look at the trucks and the GTR very soon on the channel. So make sure you guys do come around for that. Subscribe if you're brand new. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found down below. I'm actually feeling not bad right now. I don't know if the wheel just kicked in. But holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, leave your thoughts about Forza 7's demo all down in the comments. We're going to be doing a little bit of a discussion on that as we go through. But uh, 
I definitely enjoyed this. Very nice game and very excited for it to drop on the full release date. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of today's episode, don't forget to slap that like button. Come on, Sancho. I'm out. Oh, shit.